In the Mayan culture, everything is alive. The stones, the trees, even the buildings. And when the, the king or the ruler who had built a pyramid died, the building also has to be sacrificed in some way. That's why we found many buildings, many Mayan buildings, that has been constructed on top of another. When the archaeologists dig in this building, they found many stages of the same building, like in Etna or Kalakmul, where, where we, we have uh, these examples of buildings with 11 or 1,000 years, uh, 1,000 years of history in the same building. Uxmal is the main capital of the Puuc area. Puuc meaning in Maya hilly area. We are right in the center of the Yucatan Peninsula where, where Uxmal is located. Uxmal is considered one of the most beautiful Mayan cities. Uh, it, its peak was around 800 to 900 AD and was uh, the main enemy of Chichen Itza and Mayapan where you can see this chak, the rain god, faces showing on the facade of the building and one of the most uh, famous pyramids all, all over Mexico, the Magician Pyramid with 35 meters, one of the highest uh, Mayan buildings in the northern Yucatan. There, in this area, we can find many, many sites in the same style, the Puk style. I was born here Welcome to my city. Okay, follow me, please. Okay, I will be your tour guide. I will be your friend also. The name of this temple is Kimnich Kakmo, means San God. But the, the original name is Ak Kim. Ak Kim means San God. And this temple demands people to worship this God. Okay, now uh, this is the biggest temple has Yucatan or Mexico, uh, 40,000 square meters. I am, talking about, I am talking about Mole for hectare. But the big one, big one temple was there. Now we have the church. I'm here in Isamal, and this is the Convento, and it was once a pyramid, the Mayans. And on the right is a pyramid, which is one of the largest in the Yucatan. All this city is yellow and white. You know why? Isamal is yellow and white because the Mayan people to worship the sun. The sun God. He is the boss also, mm -hmm. San God, okay? One, the second, the henequen, the fiber of the henequen is yellow. Oh. Spanish came here, the Spanish destroyed the Mayan temple with the Mayan stones was building colonial houses. My church and Spanish church. 1549 Spanish came here and they constructed two churches. Spanish and Maya because the Mayan people, they don't believe in the virtue of Jesus, only to worship many Maya gods. After the Mayan people change the church, okay? Because Spanish say now close that church. I want everybody came now in Spanish church, okay? Uh, this is the biggest atrium of the world. The atrium has 8,000 square meters close, okay? The front one is in St. Peter, number one. This is the number two, but this is close, okay? You don't forget, it used to be a big Maya temple here before the church. 400 years ago, the Spanish from Valladolid came to Isamal to steal the virgin. When the Spanish tried to pick it up, she became too heavy and she cannot be carried off to Valladolid. And the Maya people said, she belongs here and she belongs us. And Bauli said, I'm sorry, Maya people, I'm sorry. She wanna stay here, not with my city, 400 years ago now. 
The virtue we have now, she is very miracles because she came from Guatemala. When the virtue, when the Spanish bring the virgin from Guatemala to Isamal, in the way, began to rain in, but nobody wet. When the Pope came here in this church, he not come inside the church, he not did. You know why? Because the virgin you see there now, 18 years ago, she was put outside. And Pope said, I don't want to go inside church because I came to see the virgin of Isa Mal. This altar that you see is not the original altar. The, the original altar was burned down in 1829, 16 April, and the candles fall down the floor and burn down all the altar original. This altar was made in 1949, 22 August. And Franciscan brothers living here in the church. Franciscan brothers. This is convent for Franciscan brothers. It's not for nuns. She is the queen for all Yucatan, Immaculate Conception. She was made in 1558. In 1829, was burned down the church by the candles. Today, no candles inside the church. In December 8, the people came here, bring the candles here. Because the brother said, I don't want to repeat this story again. You know something very important? Uh, when the Spanish came here, they changed uh, the Maya culture, and they put the Spanish culture. The Spanish can change everything, but they not change my brain, okay? Because always, always the Maya God is in my heart, okay? Now, I am 50% Maya, 50% Spanish. My blood is 50-50. But always, Mayan people to worship in the gods, in the Mayan gods, okay? This is the largest convent in North America. You can see that arch back to me. That arch divided the city, the poor people over there and the rich people over here. 400 years ago was put that arch there. The first name from this town was Ismael. Today is Isamal. In 1549, the Spanish came here and they changed to Isamal, the first name. Ismael, holy city and was Maya capital in the time of the Mayan people. Izamal is called the city of three cultures because in it, three historical periods coexist. Its pyramids looking at the sky, witnesses of the Mayan greatness, its convent with a charm originating from the silence of the majestic walls that carry forever the mark from the Spanish influence, its streets, buildings, small squares, houses, and churches, all in a harmonious visual rhythm drenched in yellow color. The Kanish restaurant offers additional Mayan colorful dishes. Casa de los Artistas is a small bed and breakfast with personalized service, and they offer you a great opportunity to relax in the heart of town. I am Patricia Quintana. I'm a chef and historian, and I have written several books. And this project was born since I came 30 years ago around the country. And when I fell in love about this region, the southeast of Mexico, the Yucatan area, because I think it has a lot of passion, a lot of uh, meanings for aromas y sabores, flavors and senses, about the cuisine of Mexico, that all the regions is so different. They, are, they have different flavors, different, different ways of cooking. And to understand about the cuisine 
of the ancient times, the Mayans. And the Mayan cuisine is so special because it's organic and because you can go in the backyard and then cut from the tree a zapote, mamey, a chico zapote, and the Seville oranges that you can do many dishes around with the Seville oranges. The, the way that they cook is all the traditions on the table. The blackened sauce is the chilmole. The red sauce, it comes from the achiote. And they dove the meat, they dove the fish, and even they prepare different chilmoles, chiltomates. Chiltomate comes from a sauce of a tomato. So they have an oregano. Oregano is a large leaf that is only, you know, it grows in this region. So the meanings and the flavors from this part of Mexico, even the tamales, are so different. Tamal is a beautiful town, it's a magic town, it's a program from our tourism board uh, that call um, magic towns to the towns who keep the characteristics of the, of the ancient uh, times. So aromas y sabores, smells and flavors, try to discover this, the culture with, the, with all the food and the ingredients and all the richness of our cuisine, the Mexican cuisine. And all the people who cook these marvelous and delicious dishes that we are tasting as cochinita pibil, papazules, panuchos, and all the flavors of, uh, that we can discover here in Yucatan. So Aromas y Sabores is discovering all this culture and all these secrets that Mexico keeps very inside of the country and uh, we are discovering it with all our friends. My name is Mariana Aguilar. Mexico is our friendly neighbor in the south. We were here for two weeks to discover the Mayan culture and the tastes and the aromas of Mexico. You have to live each moment as if it's your last. My world is your world, so remember, get up, get out, and travel! Vestida con el mar de Cozumel Con el color del sol por todo el cuerpo Look forward to seeing you next week for part four of Globetrotter and the Yucatan. Como el buen tequila hecho en aranda.